본문을 듣고 따라해 보세요. My science project. Home aquaponics. What are you reading? I'm reading an article about aquaponics. It's a way of growing plants without soil. We can also grow plants and raise fish in just one system. Is that possible? We'll see. I'm going to try it at home for my science project. Fish, bacteria, and plants are the main parts of aquaponics. After you feed the fish, they produce waste. The waste is turned into food for the plants by bacteria. The plants clean the water by consuming the food. This process is repeated again and again. Home Aquaponics by Eric Jackson. Questions How can I make an aquaponics system at home? Why is aquaponics good? Period. From May 15th to August 15th. Materials. A pot and small stones. A fish tank, a plastic tube, a water pump, plants, some fish, a box cutter, clay, steps. One. I made holes in the bottom of a pot. Then I put small stones and plants in it. Two. I made a big hole in the lid of the fish tank and put the pot in the hole. Three. I fixed the pot in place with clay. Four. I made another hole in the lid and put a tube through it. Five. I put a water pump in the fish tank. I used the tube to connect the pump to the pot. Six. I filled the fish tank with water and put some fish in it.
Then I turned on the pump. Results. From this experiment, I grew my plants and raised fish with aquaponics. I just fed the fish, but the plants have grown 17 centimeters in three months. The fish stay healthy and the water is clean all the time. Conclusion Some important things about aquaponics were learned from this experiment. First, water is safe because the plants don't need watering. Second, it is good for the environment because no chemicals are used. Finally, you can do aquaponics anywhere because it doesn't need much space. I found out. Some farmers use aquaponics to produce vegetables and raise fish. They choose aquaponics because it is far easier than traditional gardening. Also, it is a much more productive way of growing food. The plants grow much faster than plants in soil, and it saves space. I hope more food is produced in this way in the future because it is healthy for us and the environment. In my school, students leave so much food on their plates I'm worried about wasting food. Right, that's a big problem. We should not put too much food on our plates. You're right, we shouldn't. Did you watch the documentary last night? No, I didn't. What was it about? It was about global warming. The Earth is getting hotter and sea levels are going up. worried about the Earth. Oh, I've heard about that problem before. Some islands are disappearing, so people are losing their homes. Yes, it is terrible. Is there any way to stop it? 
we can save energy. We should turn off the lights when we don't need them. We should also use fans instead of air conditioners. Those are great ideas. I'll try to do those things right away. You look nervous. What's wrong? I'm worried about the speech contest next week. The speeches are about environmental problems and their solutions. What are you going to talk about? I want to talk about soil pollution. But I can't find enough information. What about water problems instead? I read an article and it said we don't have enough water. I'm really worried about it. I think we have to do something about that problem. But isn't there enough water for everyone? No. In some countries, People are in danger because they don't have enough water. Our country could have this problem in the near future. Oh, I didn't know that. I will talk about that problem and its solutions. Thank you for your advice. Look at this ball. Can you tell me how to use it? Just play soccer for 30 minutes and the light will turn on. You can use the light anywhere. Wow, that's interesting. I like your bag, Jenny. Where did you get it? I made it myself. You made it yourself? That's amazing! Why don't you make one? It's not difficult. Really? Can you tell me how to make it? Sure. Some old jeans. Cut them into small pieces. Then sew the pieces together. That sounds easy. I'll make one as a birthday present for my sister. Have you heard of Earth Hour before? No, I haven't. What is it? 
It's a global environmental event. People turn off their lights for an hour. Why do they do that? They do it to remind people of our environmental problems. They believe such a small action can change the world. Oh, I see. Can you tell me how to join it? Sure. Just turn off your lights from 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. on the last Saturday in March. That's easy. I will join the next Earth Hour. You look upset. What's going on? I am worried about my science homework. I need to make a short video about saving the environment. But making a video is difficult. Well, how about using this application? It's easy. Can you tell me how to use it? Sure. Open the application. Add your photos and choose some music. Then it will make a video with your photos. Wow, that sounds easy. I'll try it now. Thanks. <laughs>